Hi Leo, this is your September 13th through September 19th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Ten of Cups, we have the Two of Cups, we have the Six of Wands clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. In the potential outcome we have the King of Cups with uh, the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And we also have the Tower on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, but you could actually be dealing with pretty much any sign. This is a general reading. Well, Leo, prepare yourself. Your life will never be the same again. And uh, what I noticed about the spread is it's backwards. And um, not in a negative way, but the way cards came out. On the left, we have pretty much what it looks like as an outcome, to be honest with you. Right? Uh, the outcome, by the way, is the happily ever after. But as um, I was still hoping to see a court card, right? So I was like, okay, so let's pull some cards for the potential outcome. And the court cards I got. <laughs> we got the King, the Queen of Cups, and the, the Knight of Cups. But uh, the thing about this is um, what it does look like on the left is, like I said, the outcome. And then in the potential outcome, we do have like the initial um, stages of this relationship. The tower on the bottom of the deck all the way here, right? I think this is a very positive tower. Um, this is that very drastic, unexpected change, but it's going to be a very positive change. I think you're going to be shocked, but when you do come back to your senses, um, you'll love it. And uh, not only will you love it, you'll be falling in love with this particular person. So yeah, let's talk about what we have in the potential outcome. We have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups in the middle. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, but whenever I see the King and the Queen of Cups, that means that the two of you are a perfect match. It's as simple as that. The two of you will instantly connect, the two of you will instantly want to spend time together, you'll have um, similar interests, you'll want to do things together, you'll you'll look into the future together. Like I said, it's going to be instant chemistry and instant connection. And the Knight of Cups in the middle between those King and the Queen of Cups, this is just love, pure love. It doesn't get any purer than that when we have the King and the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups in the middle. Right? It's all about love, it's all about emotions. This person is definitely going to be on the same page with you. It's like the two of you are lovebirds, the two of you were born to be together. That's the feeling I'm getting, right? And like I said, with the tower card, it's going to shock you at first, right? But I think you're going to go with it. You're just going to play along and uh, you'll see that it's going to be this person is your soulmate and they're in the love of your life, right? So this is where I think it's going to start, <laughs> to be honest with you. And uh, on the left, we have uh, the uh, progression of this connection. The very first card that came out on the left that I pulled as I was um, asking what's new for Leo for this week is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. And that card goes so nicely together with the Queen, <laughs> the King and the, the Knight of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a uh, actually one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. It's a family card. Um, if having children is still an option for you, the two of you could definitely have children together because we got a couple of adults and also a couple of kids jumping around in the Ten of Cups. The next card over is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. See, we have so many cups here. It's all about love, pure love. It's a soulmate card, it's a card of unconditional love, it's a card of two people being on the same page and the feelings they have for each other are mutual, right? And then we've got the Six of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Both cards could be proposal cards. As a matter of fact, the Six of Wands used to be called the proposal card back in the day. And the Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal card. But the Ace of Pentacles is also a golden opportunity, a very long-term type of a opportunity, right? The Six of Wands is a card of victory, so I think it's a win-win <laughs> for both of you. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles, if it's not a proposal right away, then as I was just saying, it's a long-term 
type of a deal. The Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is uh, ready to start a family, somebody who is ready to settle down. A very serious card. So yeah, Leo, it's, uh, it's one of the best spreads for this week so far. And like I said, it's going a little bit backwards, but I love it. I love it. It's like the universe is having a little bit of a sense of humor with me right now. <laughs> First it showed me the outcome and then what actually happens in the beginning. But yeah, the King and the Queen of Cups with the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Cups with the Two of Cups. Oh boy. Leo, like I said in the very beginning of this uh, interpretation, prepare yourself, get ready, your life will never be the same again. Um, yeah, but I'm so happy for you, Leo. Congratulations. Leo, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have uh, the Seven of Pentacles, we have Death, we have the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Hierophant, and we also have uh, the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Taurus. Well, there's going to be some sort of a celebration here. Um, don't be afraid of the Death card. <laughs> <laughs> right, the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I think this is either a card of a union, but most likely this is a card of some sort of a celebration. Right, um, the Seven of Pentacles, the first card I came out, this is a card of waiting, right? Perhaps, and I do think that for some of you, this spread will play out as uh, you waiting to hear back from a new or a future employer. Perhaps one of you applied for a job and uh, even went through some interviews. And now you're waiting to hear back from that employer, right? So the Seven of Pentacles, like I said, is a card of waiting. And the next card over is Death. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Death is the personal Scorpio card. But I think Death in this case is this waiting period coming to an end. The next card over is the Eight of Pentacles, which is clarified by the Hierophant. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, business, and finances. And the Hierophant in this particular spread it could be about something formal, something official. So if or should I say when you get accepted, when they decide to give you this new job, it will require some paperwork, right? So that's why you're celebrating with the Three of Cups because you got the job or they got the job. Your significant other got the job, right? Um, for others of you, the Eight of Pentacles could play out as um, the two of you are working on something and for some of you you could be starting a new business together and that uh, you were just waiting for all the paperwork to get processed or you were waiting for um, a distributor to sign a contract with you something among those lines right but again it's coming to an end and uh, you can finally move forward and uh, that will trigger that celebration with the three of cups so overall or either way this is a very positive spread all right cool Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Six of Cups, we have the Two of Swords, clarified by the Two of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and we also have the Knight of Wands in, on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow Fire Sign, Aries, and other Leo or Sagittarius. So yeah, this Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck is the person coming back and uh, it's going to give you a headache. You will have a dilemma as to what to do with their reconciliation offer. The problem with the Knight of Wands, it could be a player or somebody who is hot and cold, somebody who is in and out of your life, right? So this person could be coming back and uh, you'll just have to figure out what you want to do here. Um, it could still be a fire sign, right? Just like you, another Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But uh, you will still have a problem uh, making a decision. Um, the Six of Cups, the first card I came out, this is a card of somebody coming back from the past. Then we've got the Two of Swords, clarified by the Two of Pentacles. In this particular spread, those two cards are talking about pretty much the same thing. This is your struggle. The Two of Swords is a card of a crossroads, and uh, the Two of Pentacles, clarifying it, this is you. Uh, juggling all pros and cons, trying to make a decision, trying to decide if you want this person back into your life or not, or if you want someone like that back in your life. The Nine of Pentacles right next to the deck, that is you. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of a single person, but most importantly, this is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, somebody who is doing great. You could be 
doing okay by yourself, you know, perhaps you're admired by many, perhaps you're glowing up, perhaps you're in eye candy or you could be doing really good at work. You're basically, um, you know, up there. <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles often comes through as uh, someone being put up on a pedestal. So, like I said, I think you are the center of attention in many circles <laughs> or one big circle, right? So, this person wants you back and you're like, hmm, I got all these people around me, I got all, these, all this attention, I've got so much going on in my life, you know, I'm doing great at work, do I really want this particular person in my, in my life? As I always say, Leo, if somebody really, really screwed you over in the past, chances are they'll do it again, but if uh, they were just stupid <laughs> or they made a mistake, uh, perhaps there is something there for you, all right? Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo, this week. We have the Six of Wands, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Four of Swords, and we also have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Well, this spread is all about some sort of an accomplishment or a recognition, right? The first card I come out is the Six of Wands. This is a card of victory, this is a card of admiration, this is a card of a success, this is a card of uh, some kind of a, you know, achievement, right? Um, for some of you, by the way, you could be retiring. <laughs> um, for others of you, you could be going on vacation. For others of you, you could be completing a project very successfully. Or if, say, you are in sales, you could be closing a very important deal. And for that, you're being admired. For that, you're being recognized with the 601s. We we'll also have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. The Nine of Pentacles is one of the best cards when it comes to work, business, and finances. I think that is also you in that Nine of Pentacles. You're basically counting your coins. If you're retiring, perhaps you're cashing in on your retirement fund. Um, if you just completed a project or if you closed a sales deal, you could be getting a bonus for that. But the Nine of Pentacles is also a card of somebody who is being recognized, right? Just like the Six of Wands. The Four of Wands in the middle, this is a card of um, like a happy work environment or it's a family card. So again, if you're retiring or if you're going on vacation, you'll be spending time with your close ones, right? Or the Four of Wands, again, this is recognition. See how there's two people in the middle in that Four of Wands and they're like welcoming someone. So it's people cheering you up. Right, then the, the Four of Swords, the last card I came out, this is you taking a break. <laughs> so if you're retiring, perhaps you'll need a couple of days to just chill <laughs> and do nothing. If you're going on vacation, this is you relaxing. Or if uh, you just closed the business deal, if you just um, completed a project, perhaps it sucked all the energy out of you and you still need a couple of days off. Right, but overall this is a very um, celebratory type of uh, spread here. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Leo, this week. We have the Magician, we have the Nine of Wands clarified by the Five of Cups, we have the Two of Swords clarified by Strength, and uh, we also have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. I believe the Strength right next to the deck, that is your personal card, Leo, that's you. It's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. That means you're the one in, sh in charge and you're the one calling the shot. Uh, what you're not expecting is somebody who either lied to you or tricked you into something, um, somebody who betrayed you, this is the type of person who will be reaching out to you. And I'm talking about the magician right now. I believe this is somebody coming in. This is somebody you already know. The magician is not a bad card unless it is either surrounded or clarified by particular cards. And um, judging by the cards that came out after it, I think the, the magician in this case um, becomes a trickster, somebody who tricked you in the past. Uh, the sun on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. Uh, the sun in this spread is all about clarity. So you're crystal clear about what this person is all about, what their true identity is, you know, and what they do. They trick people, or perhaps they tricked you. So you know how they say, trick me once, shame on uh, you, trick me twice, shame on me, right? So, um, whatever this person is about to offer you, and it could be anything, it could be about work, business, finances, it could be love, anything, your answer is going to be absolutely not. Even though this person may tell you, you know what, yeah, 
uh, this deal fell through last time or unfortunately it didn't work out last time but this time it's the real deal right don't believe this person nope it's not the real deal it could be the real deal in their imaginary world <laughs> but it's not the real deal for you anyway the next card after the magician that came out is the nine of wands and it's classified by the five of cups the nine of wands is a card of a wounded warrior so that's your energy right now you are very suspicious of uh, this person and uh, you're suspicious for the legitimate reasons the five of cups clarifying the nine of wands this is you thinking about what this person did to you in the past and you're sort of grieving it or now uh, you do know exactly what this person is capable of right the next card over is the two of swords and it's clarified by strength like i said strength that is your card and in this spread the two of swords is a card of you remaining closed off not opening up not wanting to deal with this person because as i said with the sound card you're crystal clear what this person is all about all right so that's what you're not expecting leo so that's what i got for you leo for this week if this video resonates with you please like it don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel and other than that leo have an amazing week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period i hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other thank you for watching sharing and subscribing